What, are you trying to topple Goliath? The more of them we drag into the light, the more torches and pitchforks we're gonna see in response. <clears throat> you sure you want to compare your followers to a bunch of angry villagers? Yeah, well, no, man, but... the people are angry, and they should be. They're taking back what's hey, safe. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you're pointing them at the right monsters. Right? Anyway, you get to go inside Titus and play with the robots. Oh, shit, when was this decided, man? Well, we did rock, scissors, and dynamite. Yeah, but I wasn't even there. No, but if it was a tie, you win. Wrench did paper, I did dynamite. Uh, dynamite. It's a regional thing. It's, it, technically, they cancel each other out, okay, so... It sounds, sounds fair. And I sent him into one of the Titus warehouses. Now, he's got the delicate job of reading the fucking manual. <laughs> then you are gonna go to the front door, get the model numbers, and send back to him for the default codes. I will be nearby looking at blueprints and power plans. Yo, let's do it. All right, yeah. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. Cool. My turn. Junior's in. I need to figure out where I'm taking him. They're looking for the security hub nearby. Blueprints show it's a EMP protected by a Faraday cage. So it's not going to work unless you stick JR. The way in there. <laughs> <laughs> that did sound kind of dirty. <laughs> Look for a switch box. There's gotta be one somewhere.
is fun, but don't forget what you came here to do, Marcus. I haven't forgotten. Just enjoying the ride. Keep heading toward the loading base. The security room is just off to one side. All right, Junior's in place. Everybody say night-night to Junior. <laughs> the EMP worked like a charm, Ray. Yep. Call me. Pleasantly surprised. You had doubts? I always have doubts. But I also have an excellent poker face, amigo. Not a skill, mind you, more due to years of rampant binge drinking. Uh, Ranch picked up Titus's default door code. 4545. Thanks. No worries, you're good. Why won't this fucking thing work? functioning normally. Hey, listen. All right, I'm on my way to the server room. You should be able to walk right up to the database server now. Well, except for all the alarms, lasers, and guys with guns. Oh, that easy, huh? Thanks. Nothing here. Hands in the air. 
Alright, Ray. Send it something your way. Oh, yeah. That's definitely something. You know, this is gonna take some time to parse. You should be close to a private lift in the CEO's office. My blueprint doesn't show where it goes, which means it's exactly what we're looking for. Track him! Damn, will you look at this place? She even got her own private elevator. Going down. Marcus, first impressions on the data you sent me. Looks like Titus has the 10 year plan brewing in some kind of prototype lab. All right, let's see what they're keeping in sub-level six. And smash the shit out of it. What Wrench means is find and record evidence that Titus is up to something naughty. Well, if you want to get technical, sure. All right, I'm in a nuclear bunker slash parking garage. You got anything else on the prototype labs? Only that there's one thick-ass iron door in your way. No idea what's behind it if you get through. When I get through. While the current Titus Watcher robots have limited offensive capability, we plan to fit them for a much more active role in conflict zones over the next several years. We're currently testing damage resistance within urban suppression contexts. We are also in negotiations with Galilei to build walkers for their space program. Within the next two years, Titus will begin field testing assault and defense capabilities of our robots for use in both domestic and military situations. Featuring reliable accuracy and superior reflexes, our robots will provide safer alternatives to soldiers or security personnel. One of our long-term goals for Titus robots is to construct armor capable of withstanding the strongest ballistic attacks in a combat scenario. In domestic security situations, these new models will easily be able to withstand small projectile attacks, Molotov cocktails, and other improvised riot weaponry. People, I've recorded all kinds of ridiculous robotic shit down here. Here, you're not gonna believe it. Anything usable for the video? Titus and Bloom plan to put CTOS functionality into armed robots and use them against civilians. How does that sound? Yeah, all too familiar. What does that mean? Feeding big data through war machines was a wet dream of some of the blue concept grunts when we first were designing the CTOS. I made sure it got the veto back then. That's why you've been so involved with this one. Yeah, yeah, I have my suspicions. And now we've got the proof to burn them. Head on out. Not done here yet. More to see. I'll be in touch.
Guys. Guys, I can't even. Where'd you find? Oh, I can't even. Oh. Man, why does he get to play with all the toys? System online. Alright, I think I got this beast all figured out. Just gotta get it through these security doors. Any ideas? Listen, if you knock out the fire suppression system, the doors should open as a failsafe. I can do that. That did it. Heading to the prototypes now. We've got a problem. Looks like the door to the backup servers is still closed. I'm on it. Knock the fuck out of the prototype while I work on the door. Counting on you, buddy. Fifty percent function loss. function loss. Fifty percent function loss. Seventy-five percent function loss. Find your way up to the backup server room on sub-level 3. Who needs elevators? Make sure you smash the shit out of everything.
What's going on in there? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, way above my pay grade. Good, good luck. Fuck. Yo, Marcus. Check out all this Titus shit. It is like engineer porn. I mean, machine learning, nanotech, railguns. Railguns? Yeah, I thought y'all might like that. This was a gift? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, damn, Ray. You're like some kind of greasy, foul mouthed Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry fucking Christmas. Hey, you guys ready? Sitar's about to release the vid. Compared to other Silicon Valley Titans, Titus goes unnoticed. They do not put effort into their public face. They operate behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. Death's egg pride, and what we found should worry you. Titus is using your tax contributions to fund military-capable machines. Today, a combat prototype may have based through their own facility, demonstrating the destruction they can cause. Within the next 10 years, these machines could be deployed on American soil. If you do not exercise your right to protest them now, they will build an army to keep you quiet and compliant. Titus has partnered with Bloom to grant CTOS access to their machines. Bloom has sold your private information and weaponized it to use against you, should this project continue. We will not stand idle while that happens. DeadSec has given you the truth. Do what you will. Come on, let's go see what you scored before you get all the pages all stuck together. Hey, I'll catch up with you later. All right, later. I was gonna vote for trucks, but it turns out you're cool. Aren't they all? Don't be so cynical. You ever listen to Teresa Moretti's speech? Okay. <laughs> Nerve of this fucker. We've got some really bad news. Can you come in? What's going on? Marcus, you're all over the news. Homeland Security just put you on their most wanted list. The fuck? Better come to ground, amigo. An investigation has been launched to determine whether Invite Corporation, along with former Congressman Mark Thruss, attempted to illegally influence the congressional election. Evidence of their malfeasance was provided by the controversial hacker group DeadSec. As a result of their evidence, the election itself has been delayed. I heard you, Mary. The first motherfucking dozen times. If you did, we wouldn't be here, am I right? <laughs> hey, what's going on? 
What? Conspiracy? And did he darken my picture? Hey, Ray, can you scrub this shit? Yeah, well, it's not gonna be that easy this time. Looks like the douche has made you a federal problem. Welcome to the club, amigo. Yeah, it's what he wanted all along, right? Set us up as the boogeyman terrorizing Silicon Valley? Dushan offers to protect them with the CTOS and the satellite backbone, and bam, everybody falls right in line. Yeah, now Bloom has access to all that collected data, feeding the damn bellwether. Shit, it's like they got a wider reach than the NSA now. Man, I bet the NSA will be real interested in cozying up to them now. The NSA will encourage the other corporations to keep spreading their legs for Bloom. Mm, I gotta do something. I can't stay here uh -huh. stuck. No way. That is exactly what Dushan wants. Besides, you've been doing a lot of the heavy lifting so far. Time to share a load before your back breaks. All right. All right, you guys take the field. I'll provide you logistics. Let's make this happen. Hey, you gave me that look again. Are we okay? Marcus is in serious trouble. Yeah, so let me help. I'm not the bad guy here, Satara. I get it, okay? But we don't use each other here. That's primate. That's Silicon Valley. Are you guys cool over there? Yeah, we're cool. No, we're good. Where do you need me? Hmm? <sighs> Go help Marcus. Open okay, right. Meet Andrew Novak, Dushin's assistant. Oh, poor bastard. He's been stealing proprietary data for his new one true love, Mary Catskills. The CEO? Dumb bastard. I'm gonna hack his laptop, use his back door to get me inside Bloom's private cluster, and score the code we need. But to do that, I'm gonna need to stretch my legs first. Yo, Marcus, play me something fresh. I'm gonna need to find a way up if I'm gonna disrupt the local CTOS router. Damn. Bloom really goes that extra mile to protect its own. go.
And I'm in. If he finds out, I'll never work in tech again. That's the least of your problems, dear. Dushan will track down your family and get them fired, too. He's very high noon justice that way. Jesus! You're not helping! <laughs> Andrew, my door is always open. You know that. I don't plan on being an assistant forever, Mary. No, hon. Not as my assistant. You betrayed Dushan. For you! And legal and HR will never let you come aboard. Your lawsuit waiting to happen. Fuck. Then what are we talking about? Weren't you the one who wanted to turn our arrangement into something more? Twenty. I scored the access code. Wrench, you're up. How does locating Bloom's backup data farm and nuking this sound? You'll get to break all the shit you want. That site's pulling in way too much power, hombre. And it's on Bloom's doorstep. So go flex some muscles! Destroy the backup servers or they'll just default to a previous version of the data we're about to wipe. Shh. Is someone there? Quiet. Hear that? This unlocks. I'll unlock it. You keep your eyes open. Huh. Start a sweep. Nothing here. Marcus, does this room look small to you? Man, I'm not there. Yep, looks small to me too. servers? Dude, I found Bloom's utility closet, the backup servers, and the campus generators. Good thing I brought extra goodies. There are 73 Marcus Holloways walking around right now, and we're spamming more. I can't print Yermi masks with your face on it fast enough for people. CTOS facial rec is going nuts trying to respond. It's safe for you to move around now. Y'all did good. 
Sending you the code to get inside. Dushin's assistant doesn't know he's been hacked. You'll have no surprises. Once you access Bloom's air gap computer, transmit everything through your phone and relay the intel back to the mothership. Good luck, Buckaroo. Don't piss me off, man. Whoa! No, I don't think so. I don't... Go ahead, what were you saying? No. Got the game on lock like we changed the key. What? Danny Brown. Who? Man, fuck all y'all. Oh, shit. Ray. You're gonna need to shut down their ability to warn the douche. You got ideas? Exploit the campus routers and change their password. That'll lock down their Wi-Fi to everyone except us. Hustle bustle. I'm on Overwatch. Wait. Quiet. First one's down. Bingo. Find the next one. Listen. <laughs> That's a win. What the hell is this? Who's the hell? Quiet. Oh, hold it. Ah. Another router bites the dust. That's it. They're cut off, and so is Dushan. You doing okay, Ray? Just peachy. Now don't worry about me. Just find a way down. I'm outside with our ride. You safe? Yeah. Fucking chaps my sack that I'm not in there with you, but I'm safe. I know, man. I'm closing in on the air gap computer.
I'm through the door. And I got the car seats warmed up. Ready when you are. Ray, you seriously need to see this place. Man, don't tell me that. My heart's breaking here. Breaking. Man, last time I tried this, Dushan Nimic happened. He's not there, trust me. Which is a real fucking pity. <laughs> yeah, I'll still keep my fingers crossed. Kinda unsettling that there are no guards down here. I'm using the admin cert that Josh scored to get into their guts. You guys getting this? We've got access to the air gap computer. It's no longer off the grid. Downloading what we need. I have an alert on a possible target near your location. Over. We've got a breach. Find out what's going on now. Alarm has been triggered. Sending local operatives. Shit, they definitely didn't like that. You watch yourself, amigo. You're still not topside yet. Yeah, I know. I got incoming. Hands in the air! Shh. Listen! I'm at the elevator. The engine's purring. Satara, we're coming back, but me and Ray have one more stop to make. You're invisible again. Thanks. I'm heading out, Ray. Let's lock this up. We're safe from things like this. You hear that? Huh. Nothing! Quiet. One pill? What the hell? Get it up! Okay, that's pretty cute. for real. That's good, homie. Marcus. I have to say, I don't really see the win in you coming here, but... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some petty macho bullshit, is it? Uh, could you stop us if it was? What, you and Encino Man here? I don't know, I'm liking my odds. Fucking Vegas is liking my odds. Yeah, Encino Man here is... I know who the fossil is. I've been elbow deep in Ray Kenny's head, massaging his code. Improving it, overriding it, but I gotta give you some props, though. You had chops for someone that was clicking two rocks together. Kudos to you. <laughs> well, don't go getting all hard on my account, Duchenne. This isn't exactly what you call a social visit. It's more of a, wouldn't you say? Fuck them and leave them situation. Yeah, that. <laughs> right. Right, well, I'm always up for a fucking run, but... Why the hell are you here? Oh, man, it, it could be important. But let me, uh, let me tell you a story. Uh, our story. Everything you've done, it's all out there now. Violating the public trust, manipulating the stock markets, the lies, the fraud. Fucking bellwether. All of it. Bluffing. What happens if you actually answer it this time? Maybe it's Bloom sending you to face the firing squad alone. Or maybe it's your lawyer telling you there's no place to run. Maybe it's just a telemarketer. You really should answer it this time. Whoever it is, you're done fucking people over.
Do Sam Nevik! You're under arrest! Head behind your back! Need to lock your fingers! Now! Do Sam Nevik, you have the right to remain silent. It's a switch on your fears, fear of the other. They tried to isolate you. It's called divide and conquer. And they tricked you into thinking it's what you asked for. keep you controlled and ignorant. They use CTOS to track you, to predict your behavior, to keep you in your place. They lied to you, and we promised to expose them and show you the truth. We invited you to join us, and you did. You said with one voice, we will not be lied to. We will not be afraid. We will not be silent. Thanks. Let's see what the world looks like when we aren't afraid to stand together. San Francisco hacktivist Cell DeadSec has allegedly revealed what might be the biggest scandal in Silicon Valley yet. The hackers exposed evidence that Bloom's chief technology officer, Dushan Nemec, was abusing his access to CTOS data for his own financial and political gain. Nemec was taken into custody and is facing numerous counts of fraud, while authorities have begun seizing his accounts. Bloom's PR representative Charlotte Gardner said they are as shocked as anyone and are looking into the matter while cooperating with authorities. Evidence highlighted by DeadSec could put Nemec in jail for a very long time. Uh, you should probably listen to this. Dead set. Dead set. We stood together, middle fingers held high. As Silicon Valley attacked our privacy, demanded our complacency, and violated our freedoms. We caught Bloom making backroom deals with each of the biggest tech giants. Companies already specialized to track and manipulate every aspect of our lives. Bloom thought they'd use us as a boogeyman to drive these companies to their CTOS. All that data was to be protected and controlled by one master program. But we didn't play fair. We shut down their CTOS for days. We exposed them one at a time, stripped their credibility, and prevented an unprecedented state of public control. Together, DeadSec gave the untouchable Big Brother its first black eye. Bloom's man behind the megaphone, Dushan Nimick, will spend the rest of his days in prison, thanks to our efforts. He was an opportunist, using his connections to exploit Bloom's system. They will scapegoat him, paint him as a rogue element, claim it was a singular random incident. But we won't let him off the hook so easily. We have demonstrated their weaknesses both human and technological. With great power comes great vulnerability. Bloom and their sycophants now face an onslaught of legal action and government investigation. Faith in the CTOS is at an all-time low. We did this. We know the greed engine will never rest. And to that, we promise, neither will dead set. We outnumber them. With every indiscretion, every scandal, and every scam, they add to our numbers, and we will be watching. DeadSec has given our warning. Do what you will. How much of this is hyperbole? Has it really gone global? There are new DeadSec cells popping up everywhere. The Middle East, South America, Europe. 
And not just them. We can't even keep up with all the new hacktivist groups. All right. Make the call. You sure? Do it. 